Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over a new piece of software that I've been introduced to. It goes by the name of uh, Color Match, and it's by a company called Retouch For Me. Now, I have produced a previous video uh, using some of the Retouch For Me uh, plugins for Photoshop. Now, they have a um, series of beauty plugins, which I have reviewed. And I was on their mailing list, and I was forwarded uh, one of their new plugins called Color Match. Now I thought I'm going to try this out because I've been in a situation where I've been a stills unit on a video shoot to pick up the images and the stills alongside the video team and my, I've been tasked with matching my colors to the video team's colors. So that has been quite problematic in the past but with this new plugin uh, Color Match it's made it a lot easier. So let's just dive right into this and I'll show you how easy it is to use. Just inside, we're on the web page for uh, Retouch For Me right now. And this is the color match. So you can go ahead and download a, um, a trial of this software. You can try it out. I think it will just have a watermark on it when you process it out. So really you're just color matching one image to another image. And it could be an image to video or image to image or video to image, uh, depending on your workflow and what you're doing. So let's just reduce that and I'll come back to that a little bit later. Oh, I've uh, stick around because I've got a discount code uh, for you and I'll list that in the description below also. So I'm going to go into uh, Capture One first of all. This is the image that I want to color match to the video. So this was for a shoot for a safari and hotel in Kent in the UK. And I've already gone ahead and just tweaked the exposure and pulled the highlights back because this window was slightly blown out. And obviously we wanted to see the detail of this lion outside the window. So this is in a place called Lion Lodge and you can go and stay here. Uh, it's um, very luxurious. It's an amazing place to go. It's also a safari park. So. Right, let's process this image out. So I'm just going to export this as a, a high-res JPEG just for now. So I'm going to export it to desktop. Uh, I'm going to go uh, quality, full quality. So let's just um, push that to our desktop. So let's reduce capture one so we can see where. So that's now processed out. Okay, so that's our still image as a JPEG. And then you're going to need to take a reference frame from uh, the video that you're color matching to. So I have that already lined up in DaVinci Resolve. So if we go into DaVinci here, this is the video that I've been given uh, to color match to. As you can see, the grade is much more sort of muted, a little softer. Uh, there's elements of this we're not going to get in color match but we're going to get the color matched, but we're not going to get the softness matched. But we can always do that at a later stage by creating some blur inside Photoshop, etc. But for now, I'm just going to show you how we color match. So you're going to need to export this reference frame because this is what you, this is the closest frame I've got to what I've created in the stills. So I'm going to go to file, export, export current frame as a still. I'm going to push that to the desktop as a JPEG. Okay, so that's done. So now we have our two images. So this is my frame, my stills frame, and this is the frame from the video. And as you can see, there is a little bit of difference. The uh, greens are much more muted in the video, and it has that overall sort of um, slightly desaturated softer feel to it so let's go ahead and jump into retouch for me color match and i can show you how simple it is to get this grade matched to the video so first of all we need to load in our stills image so that's my one so let's load that up okay so that's loaded into this software now this is the user interface and you've got various sliders but it's um, very simplistic. I'm not actually going to go over everything that's on here because I don't want to overcomplicate this because it really is quite straightforward to use uh, if you load in the right images and the right reference image. So first of all, we've loaded in our JPEG. 
now we're going to load in our video frame, which we're going to color match to. So load reference, and that is this frame. So it loads in that color reference, and then it's going to grade it. If you can see this already, this is pretty close to uh, the video frame. So let's just, so if I click on here, as I just did, that's the original, that's the, my original JPEG file, the Sony color. So this was shot on a Sony A7R4 and the video was shot on a red Komodo. So obviously the color science is quite different between those two systems. So that's the original color and that is it. That's what color match is matching to the red from the Sony. So I think that's pretty spot on. You can adjust the luminance if you need to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it and park it around there. The color you can play with. And again, I'm quite happy with where it was, so I'm going to park it at 100%. Smoothing again, if you want to play with that, have a little play. But I'm overall happy with this grade how it is looking literally just by loading in that reference frame. So what we need to do now is we can either save this frame out of uh, color match if we want a new version. Let's go version, uh, let's go version three. Makes a lot of sense. So we can either do it like this where we export that JPEG directly out of color match, or we can go into Photoshop and add in the LUT there. So we have a little bit more control, but I just want to show you the comparison between the original file, which is here and then the match file. And then this is the video file. So as you can see, those colors are pretty much spot on to uh, what's present in the video file. So let's reduce this and I'll show you how we can load in that LUT in Photoshop. So I'm trying to go a little bit slower today because I have rushed through things in the past and it's been quite difficult to keep up. So inside the color match, we need to export a LUT. So the LUT is now going to be the grade that's applied to that JPEG. So original file, graded file. So the LUT is going to be that color that we're overlaying on top of this JPEG to match the video. So let's um, let's go 01. Save that LUT to the desktop. So that's a cube file. So we can now reduce our window for color match and open up Photoshop. So this again is very straightforward to do. And I will show you how to do it. There are ways for you to be able to use a cube file to create uh, styles inside Capture One and also Lightroom plugins and presets. Now, if you're interested in that, I can create a video at a later date uh, for either one of those two or both, depending on the interest you have uh, in me doing that. That would uh, make it much easier for you to sort of batch process images from a job. So we're inside Photoshop. Now let's just go to our processed original JPEG, load that into Photoshop. So that's loaded in. Let's just make sure we're full screen. Okay, so this is the original color on the JPEG. What we need to do now is create a new layer. So we're gonna go new layer and then we're going to go to color lookup. So this is going to give us the ability to load in that cube file. So if we click on here, and we go to our desktop, we can then find that cube file and load it in over the top of that as a new layer on top of that JPEG. And again, you have that graded shot to color match the video. And I'm really happy with uh, what this has achieved without too much effort, to be honest. So again, this is not a retouched image. This is just purely graded. There's not too much retouching that needs to go on here. I think I've adjusted the perspective a little bit inside uh, Capture One, but I've really not done much else to it. So 
obviously now we are in Photoshop, we have more control over the actual layer that that LUT is applied to. So we can turn it on and off. We can then obviously adjust the opacity level. But again, I'm happy with that um, parked up at 100%. And then you would just process this out as either a TIFF file or a high-res JPEG, all depending on um, your client specifications. So we just need to go back in here and flatten that image. Go flatten. We go export. So we can either export that a, as a sort of compressed JPEG, or we can then save it out as a TIFF file. Let's save it out as a TIFF. Desktop. And that is it. So obviously you could then create some form of a batch process inside Photoshop if you wanted to apply that same LUT to a group of images. But again, going back to what I said earlier about you can create presets for Capture One and you can also create uh, presets for uh, Lightroom. That's not inside the Color Match software. That's in a different um, plugin, different piece of software, but from the same company, Retouch for me. But again, I'll go over that at a later date if you're interested in that. As I said uh, previously in the video, I do have a, a discount code. Now, a discount code is it's Simon Songhurst 20. And if you use that in your cart on the Retouch for me website, you'll be able to get 20% off any plugins that are available on their website. I'm gonna be making more sort of uh, stills and video focused uh, software tutorials in the near future. Similar to this, I'm being presented with lots of really interesting, really useful pieces of software that I'm using now in my uh, workflow. Just for transparency with this plugin, I reached out to Retouch for me. I think I did say that earlier in the video, but I reached out to them and asked if I could try their plugin. So they very kindly sent me a license. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please hit that like button. It will really help me determine whether I should be making more of this type of content. And please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.